So at the ending of the thing, it is left uncertain whether McCready or Charles is the thing. Or more accurately, the question is whether Charles is infected or not. McCready we can be pretty sure is an infected. Now there are many other clues and theories for trying to solve this mystery, but one that has gained traction during the years is the whiskey bottle theory. This theory is so subtle and elegant that it totally feels like something John Carpenter would put in this movie. Basically, when McCree watches the return of Childs, he thinks that he is infected, and to test this he gives him this bottle that Childs thinks is full of whiskey, but is actually full of gasoline, and when he drinks it, McCree is certain that he is infected, because a human Childs would have noticed that it wasn't whiskey yet and spat it out. There are several factors to support this theory. First, when Childs drinks from the bottle, the eerie music comes back, signifying that something shady is going on. Secondly, McCready faintly laughs right in Childs' face when Childs drinks the gasoline, which could be a signifier that McCready just exposed to Childs. Thirdly, just prior to the final thing encounter, McCready were making molotovs using gasoline, so it's not that far-fetched that he might have had one bottle left. Now there are also several factors that is against this theory. Firstly, just before Charles shows up, McCready was about to drink from the bottle himself, which suggests that either McCready was about to kill himself or the theory is false. Secondly, John Carpenter himself refuted the theory on his personal Twitter account. Was he honest or was he just covering up for the fact that the secret was exposed? Whether or not this theory is true, it is still a very interesting take on the ending of the classic Thing movie. Tell me what you guys think in the comment below and have a good day.